guys, it's Booja Bunny here, back at it again today with another video, and I'm going to be going through with you guys my 2019 April bullet journal setup, and I'm so happy, I'm pumped and fresh, everything's just in my mind right now because I have my new marble background that looks absolutely amazing, I have a tripod and an actual intro I'm going to be sticking with, so we're going to run smooth from here, we're actually going to head somewhere hopefully, and it's all just going to go good. But before you do anything, please make sure you click the big thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that big red juicy subscribe button and the notification bell to hear every time I upload a new video. Now I'm just going to stop rambling and just jump straight into it. Just a heads up, my dog did run into my tripod and I did skip through a bit of the footage, but it's all okay. It's okay. <laughs> I just went straight in wrote April 2019 in a very simple, minimal font because... I wanted it to be kind of minimal but snazzy at the same time. And if you couldn't tell, I already started doing a honeycomb slash bee theme because I think it's a very trendy, popular theme for bullet journals right now in the springtime months like March, May, and April. So I did that and I love bees. They're so cute. I don't know why I just really like bees and I know they're good for the environment. So yeah. Then I wrote be happy. It's kind of like a quote slash pun at the same time. I don't know what you would call it idiom no comment down below if you know what you call it so yeah and then i ended up rubbing out the pencil from underneath because i usually always go in pencil underneath because i always make mistakes and i even make mistakes even though i do it right in pencil underneath so yeah yeah next i'm going to be doing my monthly spread and i did it in honeycomb shape in a honeycomb shape <coughs> so yeah this took quite a bit of time, you kind of get the gist, you can kind of see the pencil anyway, so you know what I'm going to be doing, so I'm just going to shut up because I can't speak and English is not available today. I then went in and wrote my Monday through Sunday and numbered the pieces of honeycomb as I usually would. And then that's why it's skipped from me writing Monday to this is because I decided to stop the camera and have a mental breakdown because if you couldn't tell, I only made 22 pieces of honeycomb. <laughs> this is why even though you go in pencil before, you always check what you do. Make sure you have the right number, pe right number of hexagon pentagons i don't know i'm terrible at math and shapes um yeah so apparently there are only 22 days in april we'll just forget about that and move on it was always supposed to be like that then i went in with my crayola super tips um i used this yellow one <laughs> i don't know the shade and i added a drop shadow to the bits of honeycomb I still can't tell whether it's hexagon or pentagon because I'm so thick. I'm just gonna say bits of honeycomb. <laughs> yeah, my 22 bits of honeycomb have a yellow drop shadow now. And that's my monthly spread. Oh yeah, on the April, I used my Tombow, do not do a brush pen, my Fruit and Soaky Tombow brush pen. It was the hard tip. And then I drew a little bee flying around. Next is my habit tracker. Now this one I'm actually really proud of. It's really cute. When I went over it, and, like when I sketched it out in pencil, it took forever. I swear, 
I can draw the most complicated things like eyes and stuff, but I can't draw simple shapes. It takes so long it, because I'm a perfectionist. Everything has to be the right size. And yeah, well, you wouldn't really think that after you see my mood tracker because I just gave up then. <laughs> but it's still pretty cool. I actually really love the honeycomb. So I divided them into three categories. I have YouTube, drinking water because I don't drink enough water, and eating healthy because I need to eat more healthy. And I also divided up the page at the bottom of that habit tracker and put notes for any random s stuff I need to write. Yeah. And then I went and drew 30 pieces of honeycomb because there's 30 days in April. And as what you would do is you would color in for every day you've done the right amount of stuff or what you've needed to do for that category. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to do the categories that I chose. You can do anything, absolutely anything, anything you need to work on. Like, I don't know, you have to do homework at some point and stuff like that. Now for the mood tracker. I'm not really feeling this one to start with. I tried using my Arteza brush pen to do mood. And because I usually, like, when I'm filming, I have to have my notebook straight in front of the camera. But when I draw and write, my notebook's sideways, if you get what I mean. You probably don't. So my handwriting and everything's just been a mess. But <laughs> that kind of died. But it's still okay. It's still okay. This isn't my favorite spread, but it's still pretty cute, I think, apart from <laughs> the title. I love how I said at the beginning that everything's gonna run smooth and then you see this. But it's okay, I still love it, everything's feeling good, I'm still feeling good, still feeling good and fresh and pumped up, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I ran in and drew Honeycomb, what a surprise, and there was also a little bee. Randomly, there's 30 pieces of Honeycomb because, of course, there's 30 days in April. But this time, I didn't leave them all, like, they're not connected, the pieces of honeycomb. How many times have I said pieces of honeycomb? Anyway, <laughs> they're not all connected. There's, like, a small space. But believe me, this is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I think just drawing honeycomb anyway, like, drawing so much of it, I just got tired of it. It's just so hard. As I said, shapes kill me. Yeah. I also drew little pieces of honeycomb at the bottom to represent and just like color code what the moods are for that month. And if you didn't know how a mood tracker worked, you basically just color in the day according to how you felt that day according to your key and that sentence was super confusing, I'm sorry. I can't explain things, okay, English is not available, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Now I'm going on to my weekly spread. I actually tried Dutch doors for the first time because I've seen them all over Pinterest and I just wanted to try it. And I think they're so cute and they're actually like really smart. 
instead of having to go like for like you have two pages and then you have to flip over the page and go do another extra ones but they're all right there in the dutch doors if you don't know what dutch doors are because this is my first time i don't and i'm already bad at explaining things you might want to look it up on like pinterest or something but it's literally where you just cut the next i don't know how to explain it so you know you have you have a double page and then you flip to the next blank double page and then you cut that double page in half yeah it's really confusing go look it up please because i cannot explain things i can hardly even speak to so yeah so i wrote monday through sunday and then i had an extra box and i wrote notes and then i colored it in with my crayola super tip in the orange yellow like honeycombish color because why not i also had this super cute idea and i thought it looked so cool you'll see it in a bit where i got like pattern construction paper and i made my mini calendar out of that and i thought it was oh just so cute i want to do that more often i'm actually super proud of that that just, just came out the top of my head Right, so this is what I was talking about. I got some pattern construction paper and I did this because I thought this was so cute and I thought it would go really well with the B theme and I cut it into two squares. I wrote Monday through Sunday on it and wrote like 30 days. So like, I just made a mini calendar and I had these really cute like corner stickers to stick things into like scrapbooks and notebooks and I found I have multiple colors but I thought these ones and the white ones were good and matched super well and I ended up using the cardboard brown for the colored ones and once I stuck it in it looked so cute I'm gonna do this a lot more with all my other bullet journal setups for every month because I just thought it was so cute and you could just like change it you can change it you can take it out if you want to and if you don't like it you can just take it out it's amazing and then I went in and made another one for the other side because the I want the sides to be kind of symmetrical So this is the finished product of my weekly spread. Excuse the uh, honeycomb thing and the bee over there. I was going to do that and then I decided not to because I wanted it to be more minimal. And now I'm going on to do my expense tracker. Now this one's really simple. You draw a grid that says date, description, and then you have a plus or minus. And you literally just use this to track what you've bought or like how you, if you've been babysitting, how much money you've earned. So you kind of know around how much money you have on your bank account or just like how much money you have in total. And then you can keep track of like what you owe someone or what somebody owes you or remember to I don't know, take out a certain amount of money. And then I also have two boxes at the bottom. One's bigger. It says wish list and the smaller one says notes. Notes is just for random stuff you want to put as well. It's basically on almost every spread. And then wish list is like something you want to save up for or something you have an eye on and just kind of explains itself something you're wishing for a list of things you're wishing for and i also got my yellow crayola super tip again and drew some lines to add a pop of color now this is my study tracker this is just a graph so down the side, I have 1 to 30 for how many days there are in April. I wrote simply just study at the top and a little bumblebee. And then I divided the, I drew a line and I divided up the length by three. And I have 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and an hour. And then a plus side at the end for over an hour, basically. And then you would draw a line with like the, I'm using yellow because that's my theme to how long you've been studying or doing homework for and then you log that down and write 
the actual amount of time next to it like the not rounded just the exact amount of time if you don't remember that's fine but I think it looks really cute and it's a really good way to track your homework and how much revision you've done if you have a big test coming out coming up and I just kind of made some some lines up to give an example kind of well that's it for today I hope you really like this video and I hope you feel as good as I did today filming this and just feeling so fresh and pumped up I hope you come with me and help watch my channel grow hopefully it does grow and I just hope you have a great day and I hope you like this video and found it helpful bye